Now let's see this kind of a form and let's see how to solve it with the help of a question. So the form that I'm talking about has to do something with sin x and cos x. So what happens? Sometimes we see that sin x and cos x are multiplied with different powers such that either the power of sin x is odd or the case may be the power of cos x may be odd or the case may be both the powers may be odd or both may not be odd. So if I have the case that the power of sin x is odd, in that circumstance I have to solve the question such that I will be putting my cos x is equal to t. So cos I will be putting t. But if I have power of cos x is equal to odd, I will be putting sin x is equal to t. And if both are odd, what to do? Then what I can do is, I can put any of these as t and then solve the further part of the question. So for sin x power odd, it may mean like that, I have the question as sin cube x cos square x integral dx. That means power of cos is not odd. Here what may happen? Here power of cos is odd, maybe power of cos is 5, sin is 2 only, like that. And here both the powers are odd. So let's see what kind of a question is here. I have a question sin square x cos x whole raised to the power 7. That means the power of cos is this time odd. So the case is power of cos odd put sin x is equal to t. So we are going to do this kind of a question by putting sin x is equal to t. Also if I have last case which I have not mentioned that both the powers are even. Then the story is different that kind of a questions we have already done and we will be doing also. So let's see the solution. I have sin square x cos 7 cos odd put sin x is equal to t. So what I will do put sin x is equal to t that means the differentiation makes it cos x dx is equal to dt. Equation 1, equation 2 the question is i. Now i becomes what? t square because it is sin square cos x whole raised to the power 7 cos x dx cos x dx is dt. So that means cos raised to the power 6x can be separated and then would I would be having dt. Right? Now I have cos raised to the power 6x that can be written as 1 minus sin square x whole cube because it is nothing but what? Cos square then the whole cube and cos square theta is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta. So that ways. And then I have again dt. Now, I have sin square x again, so it becomes t. So, it is t square 1 minus t square whole cube dt. Let's open up the bracket. The things are very easy now. So, it is nothing but t square outside a minus b whole cube is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab multiplied by a minus b. I write the formula here a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab bracket a minus b or I can also open it like that it is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b minus minus plus 3ab square so I can use either of the formulas identities so here I have a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b so a square b plus 3ab square and then dt outside. Now let me just simply solve it by opening the brackets. I see that it becomes t square integration dt. Then I see it is minus integration t raised to the power 8 dt. Then I see it becomes what? It is nothing but plus. Multiply here, multiply here, not plus but again minus. So it is minus t square into t square is 3 t raised to the power 4 dt. Step by step we are doing. Then again you multiply by 3 t raised to the power 4. t raised to the power 4 t raised to the power 2 is t raised to the power 6 3 outside plus sign dt. So you have to now simply integrate. Now things are not difficult. t square integration is t cube by 3 minus t raised to the power 8 is minus t raised to the power 9 upon 9 minus 3 t raised to the power 5 upon 5 
plus 3 t raised to the power 7 upon 7 plus c. Now wherever you had t, you are going to put the same as sin x. So it is sin cube x upon 3 minus sin x whole raised to the power 9 upon 9 minus 3 sin x whole raised to the power 5 upon 5. Next to follow plus 3 sin x whole raised to the power 7 upon 7 and then plus c which is the constant of integration. So the answer I can separate it like that. This is the answer to this question and this is how you do this kind of a question. So the methodology will remain one or the less the same. You have to use the same formula sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and rest all comes with the help of practice.